Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. Um, my mum and I are going, I was going to say Christmas shopping. We're not really going Christmas shopping, we're just going to go and look around the shops for Christmassy things. So kind of Christmas shopping. Um, and so I thought I'd make a vlog with a bit of a sort of come shopping with me kind of thing. We're going to go to B&M, uh, which I've never actually been to B&M before, which I know is just ridiculous. Um, we've just never had one sort of nearby, um, but we've now got one that's quite near us. So we're going to go and have a look in there, see what there is. My hand will not stop shaking. Um, so we're going to have a look around there, possibly look in Primark. Um, I don't know if we're going to look anywhere else. We'll kind of see how the time goes, get a bit of lunch in Costa as well, probably, because I've got a voucher for there. So I can use that and get a Black Forest hot chocolate. And um, yeah, we're going to head off now and I will, uh, I'll show you what Christmassy things I find. So this is our new b and &M. Never been to B&M before, so I don't know. I'm not going to tell the difference between this one and any other B&M. But let's have a little look inside. I just found this really cute nativity. The only thing is it hasn't got a staple with it, which is a bit of a shame. I kind of feel like you need a little stable to put them all in. Of course, we've managed to find some gonks. So we've got this one here with the little navy hat with the stars on. And then there's this one here, which is sort of like a, it's not a fabric one. I can't think what the word is. Ceramic. Ceramic one, that's the one. So we've got chocolate oranges, which are like a staple Christmas <laughs> thing. We've got some Cadbury's tree decorations, which I think we'll have to get some of. Various, various chocolatey things. What's these? Some more tree decorations. We've got some chocolate brownie M&Ms and also some salted caramel ones up there. I'm kind of looking, I'm sure I saw somewhere that they sell bounty M&Ms here. I'm looking out for those. So they've got this Thornton's Cheeky Elf for £2.25. We thought maybe this is something that the elf on the shelf could bring at some point for the kids. So they've got all these like baking kits. So you've got decorate your own letter to Santa cookies. There's a gingerbread one there. And then up here we've got a reindeer kit. Another gingerbread man one up there. Down here there's these elf cookies which I think you actually bake yourself. So I just found these chocolate orange cookies. Mum was like, oh, I don't know if the children will really like those. I was like, they're not for the children. <laughs> It seems to be quite a good place for like random chocolate and sweets and things like that. Just found these candy cane aero bubbles which look quite nice. Got this Glade candle in Merry Berry Cheers which smells quite nice. Can't beat a Christmas candle. This Febreze in Sugar Plum Delight smells amazing. I don't really know if I need any Febreze at the moment but I'm kind of tempted to just get it. Found myself a Christmas Minky. I've been looking for a minky for ages actually. You can't, you can get them on Amazon but they're really expensive so I found one here now. This could be quite nice as a gift, like especially for a teenager or something. Various bath and shower little things. Found this Christmassy Carex hand wash which smells of cherries. Not sure what is Christmassy about cherries but it smells really nice. We've got a couple of um, Christmassy face masks for a pound each. So you've got the elf one, which is cucumber scented, and the reindeer one, which is pomegranate, pomegranate scented. There's this gingerbread making kit, and it comes with this little gingerbread bowl, which I thought was quite sweet. You get a cutter, um, what else do you get? A uh, cutter, mixing bowl, gingerbread mix, icing, and candy decorations. And we've got this luxury fragrance range, which has got like wax melts, candles, mm. um, Read diffusers and stuff, and I'm sure it's meant to be a dupe for Joe Malone. Found this little Father Christmas scented candle for two pound fifty. It is Christmas clove scented. It smells very Christmassy. Got some Christmas books, including this pepper one. Not sure how much it is. Whether it's just the price on the back. The kids would love this. <laughs> Got a Monopoly here. I mean, there's just loads of toys and games. I can't show you everything. Um, but you've got Monopoly here for £15, which isn't too bad. You've got this hot chocolate bar thing with just basically everything you could possibly need to make a yummy hot chocolate. This reminds me of those Wittards hot chocolate sets you can get. Mm. We've got like cinnamon, orange, toffee, caramel, milk chocolate, white chocolate, salted caramel, mini marshmallows, chocolate fudge, peppermint, toasted marshmallow and ginger biscuits. Just come across these marshmallows which have got little faces on them so you've got snowman ones and reindeer ones they also have penguin ones but the penguins look slightly scary um 
tempted to get some of these for well bonnie i'm going to do making a snowman out of marshmallows for bonnie so she could use one of these for the head and then i'm sure noah would absolutely love these for his hot chocolates found this christmas sack here for eight pounds you can put presents in on christmas day if you like your gonk they've got a little hottie here which i'm assuming you put in the microwave for five pounds and then a hot water bottle for eight pounds i love these pastel matches in a jar oh, and they've all got like letters name the letters of the alphabet on so you could choose one for the person you're buying for i've seen a couple of big potato games in here so you've got herd mentality i can't remember what else i saw but definitely saw another one I found this board that you put out on christmas eve so you can put a drink some snacks and a carrot for rudolph which is really sweet I've got these like christmas prison plates i think they get called um with different sections for the kids to put their dinner in. They've got loads of gonk stuff, including this little platter, which could be nice for putting some Christmas snacks on. There's this bottle with Father Christmas and stuff on it. I don't really know what you'd do with it, but you could have it as a decorative piece, I suppose. I'm finding it very hard to resist this gonk mug. <laughs> I feel like I may have already bought a Christmas mug, though, in Home Sense, so I really need to be good. Got a little gonk sitting on the log here. He's rather cute. Oh, these gonks are really cute. They're very sparkly as well. There's just so much lovely Christmas stuff. I'm trying to be good though because I just don't have anywhere to put any of it, but it's very difficult when there's so much cute stuff here. You can get a Christmas doormat for three pounds. That's like ridiculous. So cute. Oh, this snow globe's really cute. Mm -hmm. Got little gingerbread men on it. And they've got these luxury crackers, which are quite cute. Lots of different characters. Got a little skiing gonk. It's quite cute. I do love a gonk. I really like these wrapping papers. They're £1.50 for eight metres. Got these huge, well, I say huge, they're not that big, but they are quite big gonks with sparkly hats. They're only £12, which isn't too bad. And you've got the one at the end there that's got a little star. So we've just popped into Primark to have a look, well, at a few different things. I'm just trying to find a Christmas jumper for my dad. It seems to be so fun, like, hard to find nice Christmas jumpers for men, but we found this one, which we thought was quite nice. There's also this one over here, which has got Homer Simpson on, which I quite like, but I'm not sure it's my dad's kind of thing, really. So we're just looking for some pyjamas for the elf to bring for Bonnie. And we found this sleep suit, which we thought was quite cute because it's obviously Disney. Um, just trying to find out from Becca whether she's already got it for her or not. <laughs> I'm hoping she hasn't because it's literally the only option. Got lots of Disney decorations in here. We've got one of these from a few years ago now that I used to decorate my Disney tree. It's got like a topper, some bigger baubles, and then some like smaller ones as well. And then there's like a red one. And then this one, it's actually more like this one that we've got. But there's all sorts of different, like reds, pinks, giant ball ball here. We've got this one up here, which is £10, which is quite expensive for Primark, actually. Um, I can't get it to focus, hang on. Let me just, uh, let me put it down here and then I'll focus it on it. And it's got Olaf in it which is quite cute with a little Christmas tree but £10 seems a bit much considering what you spend in a shop Disney it's not, not that far off also got this wooden train decoration which would look quite cute in like a child's bedroom or something I think I quite like this little Mickey shaped bell that's quite cute how much is that? £2, that's not so bad also got this which is like a light up one I think I prefer the ones in Shop Disney over that one. I don't know why, but this <laughs> for the Christmas with glasses really makes me chuckle. It's a tea light holder and it is six pounds. Also got this one with stars, which isn't a tea light holder actually. It's just a shame, I think that would look quite nice with light coming out of it. And there's also a snowman one as well. Got a Grinch wreath. And then there's also this one, which is quite nice actually, made up of Disney baubles. Just having a look at the ladies' Christmas jumpers. So we've got this one with Rudolph on it. This one, there seems to be quite a lot of like this pink 
kind of colour this year, which I've noticed. A few sparkles on that one. We've got um, a leopard print Christmas tree, I think. Not so keen on that one. This one that's got penguins on it. It's very soft, that one, actually. And then this one with a dog on it. We've also got headbands, funky glasses. Always quite fun for Christmas Day. So we've got this cardigan, which is actually in the same range as the jumper that we got my dad. They seem to have quite a few things so that you can all be matching in that range. I've got this Disney tracksuit set, which has got Minnie and Mickey up there. It says Winter Wonderland down here. And then the jumper or the sweater says Create Magic Moments, which is quite nice. We've just got a red sweater with Mickey on it. To be honest, I think you could wear that all year round. I don't think it's particularly Christmassy. We've then got this bright green sweater, which has got the Grinch on it. There's a lot of Grinch stuff this year. Um, there was like a big bit upstairs that had like pyjamas and all sorts of stuff on it. This is the jumper that I quite like. It just says Winter Wonderland on it. And you've got Minnie and Mickey on it in there. Christmas outfits. That one is £16. Then got this set, which is like a knitted co-ord, um, which has got like Minnie and Mickey and Donald festive crew on it. And then it comes with, well, it doesn't come with, you have to buy them separately, some sort of like knitted leggings as well in the same design. We've got this jumper dress, again, in the same range as the jumper we got my dad and that cardigan. I assume it's a jumper dress, it's very long. And there's this one which has got, would you say they're not crackers? No, yeah, I'm not sure what they are. Little doll type things. It's quite a thin jumper that one though. I like a big thick jumper at Christmas. We've then got this one which is like a jumper dress in the style of an elf with various sequins and stuff on it. And then this is another one which I quite like. I don't know, it's, it's not, it's nice. It's, I don't know whether it's take home nice, but it is nice. It's got these like sparkly um, cars with the Christmas trees on them. It's very sort of like fair oil print. Yeah, that's quite nice. That's £14, that one. Just seen this up here as well, the Christmas tree headband. I can just imagine everyone wearing these on like Christmas day or something. Just found these that's got like little winter houses on it, which actually matches my Christmas duvet quite well. Um, they're really soft as well. Right, we are back from our little shopping trip and I thought I'd just show you what we bought. Um, I've got what I bought and also what my mum bought, so I'll just show you both. Uh, so the first thing, we'll start with B&M. Um, the first thing that I got was a couple of rolls of wrapping paper. Um, I, I'll tell you the prices if I can remember them. So these were £1.50 each and you get eight meters. Um, they had some really cute ones. So we've got this one with Father Christmas on it. And then we've got this one that has got like Father Christmas mugs on it um, and like gingerbread men and stuff like that. So hopefully they will keep me going for wrapping up this Christmas. Um, something else that we got was, well, my mum got this actually for Rory for Christmas. And it is this huge, brick thing with, I'm gonna have to put it in front of me because you can't, can't see, you get these little cars with it um, and then you also get these kind of like mega block type things um, and it's basically for them to build like, they can build this like garage type thing with the ramp. Um, he's a little bit small for building stuff yet but we can build stuff with him and then he likes to play with the cars and the bricks and stuff so he can grow into that so I'm sure he will like that for his Christmas present. I got some Maryland cookies in chocolate orange. I love anything chocolate orange and I saw these and decided that I needed to get them. My mum said she was like, oh, I don't know if the kids will like them. And I'm like, they're not for the kids. They're definitely for me. So I will be hiding these so that I can enjoy those because I'm sure the kids would eat these as well. So I got those. Um, picked up some orange max, uh, matchmakers. Um, one, because I really like orange matchmakers. And two, because um, we are going to do um, a little like build your own snowman kit 
for one of the things that the Elf on the Shelf is going to bring and we thought that these would be quite good for like the arms and the legs um, so there'll be plenty left for me to eat because that's only going to take a couple of them um, so we've got those we picked up these marshmallows which have got little like faces on them so these ones are made to look like snowmen um, I'm not sure how well you can see them because they're all turned the wrong way um, and then these ones are little reindeer I just thought they were really cute <laughs> um, I thought the snowman one Bonnie could possibly use for the build your own snowman just to make it a little bit easier for her um, but I just thought like Noah would love these in his hot chocolates um, and to be honest I'd quite like them as well so pick those up they did also have a penguin one but the penguin kind of scared me a bit so I didn't get those ones <laughs> got some festive candy canes in winterberry I think these were like a pound or something um, I only really needed one candy cane because one of the elf on the shelf things we're gonna do is like mini golf um, and they're gonna use a candy cane as like the potter um, but you can't really buy one in candy cane on its own uh, so I'm sure we'll find use for some of the other things but yeah that'll be that'll be quite useful <laughs> picked up a couple of packets of these Bounty Secret Centre Biscuits. I've had these before and they are delicious. I love anything Bounty Coconut. It's just my, my vibe. Um, so I got a couple of these. I can't remember how much they were, but these will definitely be being hidden because I don't want anyone else eating them apart from me. I have been looking for one of these for ages, um, but the only place I could really find them was Amazon and they're so much more expensive on there because we just didn't have a B&M near us. So when I saw that they had the minky cloths, I decided to get one because they look really easy for like cleaning with. And they just so happened to have this like Christmas one with little like skiers on it, which I thought was quite sweet. Um, so yeah, picked that one up. I think my mum may have been buying stuff for me because she's picked up some magic stars which she knows are my favourite so I'm going to pretend that I haven't seen those. Um, and then I picked up a chocolate orange, they had different faces on the front that you could choose from. I went for the Santa, um, this is for my friend's husband, I get him a chocolate orange every year. It's kind of become, become a bit of a tradition so I picked one up when I saw them because trying to get them online is not very easy. We also saw these little cheeky elves from uh, Thornton's, so we've picked up a couple of those. We thought the elf could bring them one day, I need to decide which day they're going to bring them. Um, I mean the kids, are, it's chocolate isn't it, the kids are going to love it. Um, and I just thought it was quite like in theme. Um, so I mean they weren't very expensive, um, so we thought that they would be quite a good thing that they could bring along. Um, just gives us some ideas of stuff that we can do and makes it a little bit easier. And then I think my mum has been buying things for me again. Um, she's, she pops things in the basket like, you know, sneakily. Um, but I said I quite liked this little gonk and I, I think she's popped him in the basket as well. He's all like sparkly up here. I love gonks, I have way too many of them. Um, he was only three pounds, but he's, yeah, he's very sweet. Again, I will pretend I haven't seen him. Then got a couple of like cleaning -y type things. So my mum found this fairy liquid um, and it is in spiced apple and it smells me like amazing, very Christmassy. Um, oh my God, I can't get the lid off. There we go. Oh, it smells so good um yeah very festive so she thought that that would be good for this time of year and then i also came across this carex uh limited edition merry cherry christmas as i said i love i think i said it in my last video actually i love cherries um and this smells amazing as well my mum said she'll be coming up to my room to wash her hands because it smells so good uh so yeah i got one of those as well so my mum is a really bad um, influence. I was like umming and ahhing about this snow globe and basically she made me buy it. <laughs> uh, it's got a little gingerbread house on it. It's just really cute. Um, I was like, I've got nowhere to put it. I don't know what to do with it. And mum was like, oh, I'm sure you can find somewhere. Um, so I ended up buying it. It is really nice. I love like gingerbread type things. Um, this one was six pounds and yeah, it's just really pretty. And then my mum found a couple of these like little Christmassy bowls which she thought would be good for Bonnie and Rory. Um, I'm not sure whether she's going to put them in their like Christmas boxes or anything or whether she's just going to give them to them to have their cereal in. Um, but yeah, they're actually slightly different. So this one's got like um, a red top and this one's pink at the top. And then they have got like slightly different um, like pictures on them. They were £1.50 each. 
And then we also went to Primark and picked up a few things in there. My mum picked up this Christmas jumper for my dad. He needs a new one desperately. Um, and we thought this one was quite nice. They actually had like a matching range for this design. Um, so they had like kids ones, women's ones, um, that kind of thing as well. Um, we'd quite like to get my dad like a, a fun Christmas jumper as well. Like this is very like nice, but we'd quite like him to have a fun one as well, but we just didn't really find anything we liked in there. Um, so we went for this one. It was, how much was it? because it's got no price on it. Oh, £16. My mum then picked up a pack of socks uh, for... Who, am I, who are these going to be for? Possibly Rory. Um, so you've got like a little Father Christmas, some little like stripy red ones, a little polar bear. What else have we got? One with like little presents and stuff on it and then one with a little reindeer on it as well which are quite cute um, and those were £3. My mum also got this Christmas jumper for Rory, um, it has got Mickey Mouse and Pluto on it and it's got like these lights are all like sparkly, just says Merry Christmas along the top. Um, it's quite a thin jumper although it is like really soft inside so he's going to look really cute in that. That was, that one was £5. So on the day that our Elf on the Shelf arrives, they're going to bring the kids some uh, pyjamas, Christmas pyjamas. We've got the ones for Noah, um, but we weren't looking for something for Bonnie that she could wear. And we found this little sleep suit. Um, it has got Mickey and Minnie and Pluto on it. It says create magic moments. Again, they had this design in like other types of clothing for different people. Um, it's got the little like non-slip things on the pads um, and this one was £7.50. I found this in the decorations part and kind of fell in love with it so it's like a little bell but in the shape of a Mickey head and it actually does jingle as well so I thought I'd pick that up um, to go on my tree because I do a Disney tree every year. Um, I just thought it was quite classic and really nice. Um, I just really liked it. So that was two pounds. I'd seen this jumper on social media and knew that I really wanted it. Um, so I picked that up when we were in store as well. So it's this like cream jumper. It says Winter Wonderland on it. And then it's just got Mickey and Minnie down here in their Father Christmas outfits. Um, it's got like little snow bits on it as well. It's really pretty. Um, I just love, I love a Christmas jumper and if it's got Minnie and Mickey on it then that just makes it even better. Um, so yeah, I like that. It's also like really soft inside. Um, this one was £16. And then last but not least, I wasn't going to buy any pyjamas because let's face it, I have enough. Um, but I saw these and I just couldn't resist them. Uh, so they are these ones which have got like a little snow scene sort of houses going across them. Um, and I just I just fell in love with them. I think they're so nice. They're very similar to my duvet cover that I have for Christmas because that has little snow houses on it. Um, so I thought, why not? They are soft touch pajamas and they are really, really soft. They feel so nice. I think that's something else that kind of swayed me when I came to buying it because they just feel so, so soft. Like, oh, I just want to snuggle up in them now. Um, but yeah. They just look, they look comfy and I just love the design on them. These ones were, I don't know if they've got a price. Oh yeah, those ones were £11, so I'm looking forward to wearing those. And that was everything that we bought at B&M and Primark. I hope you've enjoyed coming shopping with me and seeing what we picked up for Christmas. Let me know what you thought of what I've got. Also let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see, particularly any Christmassy content. Let me know what you'd like and enjoy. It'd be good to hear what kind of things you're looking for um, because I don't really have many ideas at the moment so it's good to get some ideas from you guys of what you enjoy seeing. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have and you'd like to see more give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell that means you'll get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss anything. Leave me a comment, come and see me on social on other social medias like Instagram and stuff it's all linked down below and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!